My name is Scott Elliott uh, with Hirsch Electronics. I'm the Director of Government Sales for Hirsch Electronics. One of the other applications we have in, again, the, the federal space with DOD clients as well as the civilian agencies is dealing with PIV and CAC credentials. And so what we've developed is a, an authentication device, the RUU201. And this device is used for uh, several applications, one of the primary being uh, authentication of individuals. So what we do is we take the credential once it's been produced and issued to the uh, individual person, insert it into the card reader. This is a contacted interface. It prompts me for a PIN number. I enter that PIN. I get prompted for biometrics. And I get an access granted or denied and the reason for that messaging. So what I've done during this process is I've validated the data model encoded to the card that meets the FIPS 201 process uh, or requirements. Um, I've also vetted the individual biometrically so that I know that the person that's just been verified is the person that should be issued the card. Another application for this device is as a physical access control uh, device. It can be deployed in uh, multiple modes. Um, primarily, it's a three-factor authentication device, so it requires something that you know, the PIN, the card itself, a token, and biometric something that you have. There's a fourth factor capability built into the RUU201, and that is PKI um, certificate verification, resident at the door in real time. So not only can we validate the three um, factors of authentication, we can also send the PKI certificate uh, back to the OCSP or, or CA and check the validity of those certificates, whether they're still, still active, um, suspended, or revoked and base our authorizations locally at the door to grant or deny access on that fourth factor of authentication as well.